not cooking tonight, but I am still putting on the apron so that Casey knows where the second half of the video started. So, sorry no cooking tonight. We've got lots of things to talk about. <gasps> Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia's granddaughter. Good luck. She's at softball with her granddaughter, and so she's going to watch us later, but good luck, Sylvia's granddaughter. They are like the softball and baseball on us kids I've ever seen. Um, okay, so I'm putting on my apron for the second half of chat number 311. Even though we are not going to make any food, um, this is so that Casey, and if you are new, so that you will know when the second half starts. Um, if you're brand new, this is an hour-long chat, so we talk about whatever the Weight Watchers topic was from the week before. That's what we talk about for the first half, so it's basically classroom. And then the second half, excuse me, usually something fun. But tonight, we got to talk about the elephant in the room, okay? So, but if you're watching this later on YouTube, youtube.com, search if you have an egg. The um, entire chat will be on there, so the whole hour will be on there as one video. And then just the second half will be on there as a second video. And you'll know when that one starts because it'll just be the apron. Okay, so second half of chat number 311, we are going to be talking about what is up with Weight Watchers, okay? So, what is up? Um, this, the title makes it sound like I'm angry. I'm absolutely not angry with the changes that are going on with um, Weight Watchers. Um, I'm, I'm absolutely not. So, just sit back, sit tight, try not to blow a gasket if you're upset. Um, you're, we're going to talk about what I do know and what I don't know. And then I'd love to hear what questions you have. Um, I'd love to hear if you know something different than I do, like if you found out something different. Um, but so Weight Watchers is up to some pretty interesting changes um, here in the last few weeks. But this time it has nothing to do with the food plan. So I have been a Weight Watcher for over 25 years. And every change that I've seen, you know, they have major changes every few years. And then they have little tweaks, you know, on, the, on those off years. This is the first time that I have seen such a significant change that had absolutely nothing to do with the food plan. Um, some of you are intrigued to, you know, to find out more, to find out what's going on. Um, others are just plain angry. I mean, I've seen a lot of people who are just livid that this is happening. Um, many of us are just going to keep doing what we've been doing because we know that the program works. No matter what else is going on over here, a lot of us know the program works, the plan works. So we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing and we'll just, you know, figure the rest of this out, you know, a little bit later. But then there's this group of people who are ready to drop out. They're either scared, they're confused, they don't understand, they've heard, um, Oh, they've heard some things that are not true, and I'm not going to name any names, but there are other um, well-intended um, chats. I don't know what else to call them. They're well-intended, um, but they seem to be stirring up a lot of stuff that they don't need to be stirring up, and I'll just keep it PG-13 for all of us, myself included. Um, so... For all of you all who are scared, confused, don't really understand what's going on, whatever. I mean, I don't know everything, but we're going to get some dialogue going, you know, and we're going to dispel, we're going to dispel, disperse some of that fear. We're going to try and get rid of some of it. Okay, so uh, let's see. Loretta says, I hear nothing about Weight Watchers at her meeting. I don't understand. Yep. And Sandra, I think you're exactly right. Okay, so I have a lot of notes. Um, here. So you all have to forgive me as I flip back and forth because I found out new things or um, asked questions or um, realized that I'd left something out, you know, while I was collecting and, you know, compiling this. So if I keep flipping my paper over, you all will have to excuse me. This is a very important topic for a lot of us, um, even if you're just going to keep doing what you're going to keep doing, what you're going to keep doing, because this really, what it, the, the changes that Weight Watchers has um has um, put into effect in the last couple of weeks literally doesn't affect me at all. Nothing has changed. My meeting hasn't changed. The Their purchase of the other company hasn't changed anything. Nothing has changed for me. Nothing has changed, but this is still an important topic, okay? So first thing is I need two people to volunteer um, to be statistics people. So I need, and okay, Loretta says there's no changes. So for her too, there were no changes. So I need two volunteers who love to do statistics, and it's really, and you have to have something to write with, because I just need you to write, not take some chi some tick marks down. So I need a couple of people just to make sure we get some good numbers. So I need two statistics volunteers, um, and you're just gonna make you're just gonna keep track of the following um, things for me, and it will make sense later. I promise. We're actually gonna use the information, you know, in a little bit. 
Okay, so do I have two statistics volunteers? And all, all I need you to do is just have something to write with, and I just need you to, to go one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, you know, and kind of count. Okay? And Sandra, you're exactly right. Okay, um, Susie's husband has volunteered. That's so cool. Hello, Susie's husband. So congratulations on the nuptials this weekend. Okay, so thank you very much. Okay, so Susie's husband, be paying attention. If you're here with us live, and Christy, I think, is uh, all, is also volunteering. So thank you, Christy. So, um, and I mean, as many of you all want to, can. I'm just going to need these numbers when, at the end of this. So question number one, I need you to either raise your hand or do a single thumbs up. So when I say a single thumbs up, a single thumbs up. Up. I mean don't do this there's like one two three four five don't do five do a single either raise your hand or do a single thumbs up if when you answer this question so question number one raise your hand or do a single thumbs up um, if you are here with us live and you just lost your in-person workshop so if you if your in-person workshop that you've been going to even if you just started going to it if it is gone either raise your hand or do a single thumbs up and Susie's husband and Christy, so I need y'all to try and count as many as you can. Okay. So we're going to give y'all just a second. And then number two. Number two, raise your hand. Or do a heart so a heart either raise your hand or do a heart if you've never had an in-person workshop okay and Susie's husband and let's see let me make sure I didn't miss anybody Susie's husband and Christy if y'all can kind of keep track of that and I know it's gonna it's gonna go kind of fast but that so the hearts or the second set of hands showing, those are people who have never had an in-person workshop. Okay, and I'll give you all just a second on that. Okay, and I'm gonna try and say it right. Joycelyn, Joycelyn did a cute heart. That still counts. Hers is a little Little cute, little cutie patootie heart with another heart going around it. Okay. And Debbie's kind of threw, thrown. I don't know if y'all are going to put Debbie in one or two. Not sure which one to put that in. She kind of threw a little wrench in it. Okay, number three, raise your hand or do the little care symbol. So that's the one. It looks like this. Don't count my one. So that's the little care symbol. Raise your hand or do the care symbol if you have diabetes or you are pre-diabetic. So even if you answered the other two questions, I still need you to answer that one. So that is the little care, it's the little person kind of hugging a heart. Let me see that, okay, yep, so there went one. If you are diabetic or pre-diabetic. Ooh, so several of you all, okay. Okay, and then the fourth question is not funny. But it's the next thing, in, it's the next emoji in line. So either raise your hand or do the laughing emoji. Um, if you or a loved one has ever had um, gastric bypass, if you've done keto, Jenny Craig, Noom, um, any other non WW weight loss program. So if you've done another weight loss program besides. Weight Watchers in the past, now, you can be doing it now, or if you or a loved one has had gastric bypass, do the laughing emoji. So I'm gonna do the laughing emoji because I certainly have done other things besides Weight Watchers. Okay, and if you all will continue to tally those, I'm gonna keep talking and then we will circle back around to that um, here in a few minutes. Okay, so Weight Watchers, in case you all didn't know, um, Weight Watchers has, um, has purchased another company um, and that company does telehealth and they do, um, they do telehealth and they do this, um, do some weight loss drugs and things like that. Okay. So 
they have purchased that company. It's called Sequence. So they did, well, Sequence, I think, is the telehealth part of it. So in case you didn't know that anything was going on, something's going on, okay? There are some strange things going on. So here, and again, people are either um, indifferent, if nothing's changed, um, or they're angry, or um, they are scared, or they're just going to jump off the, the bandwagon. They're just going to get out. They're just going to drop out and do other things. So I'm going to tell you first the things that I don't know. If you have any other questions, go ahead and shout them out, and I will try to get them written down, and I'll try to get them answered for you. But here are some questions that I've gotten in this last two weeks that I do not know the answers to. Okay, so things that I do not know. I do not know if any more locations are going to close. So I would say that outside of the pandemic, that this last two weeks has been the largest closure of Weight Watchers locations in, in the United States anyway, um, outside of the pandemic. I believe that that is true. So um, I don't know. I've been asked, are any more um, in-person locations going to close? I don't know. I do not have that information. I do not know how, who has that information. So I don't know. Um, I've been asked if any of the locations that were closed, if they're going to reopen. I've been asked if they will reopen at their original centers or if they're going to reopen in churches. There are a lot of, oh, in Canada too, okay, so North America. So we're just going to go ahead and say, so Mindy just chimed in and said Canada too. So um, this is the largest closure uh, uh, outside of the pandemic, the largest closure for, let's just call it North America. But again, I've been asked, are any more locations going to close? I don't know. Um, I've been asked if any of the locations that have closed, uh, whether they were a studio or, you know, whatever that location was, if they're going to reopen either as the original studio or, that's a great question, Sandra. Oh, okay, I'm just, sorry, I'm going to pause because I don't know the answer to that. Sandra says, will the closed locations lose their connect group? Mindy, do you know? Do you know? That's a great question. Uh, I think their connect group could stay, but would they? I don't I don't know that. Um, and then Loretta says, why are they closing? So Loretta, I don't know the exact reason why they are closing, but my my gut and my guess, and I think I believe that I'm correct, is um, is that they uh, it's it's financial reasons because you know, I mean, everybody's lost business. Um, you know, numbers are down. Now, Mindy, I know your numbers were not down. I know you had great numbers. Um, but Weight Watchers International, um, I don't know the exact answer to this question, but my gut tells me it's, you know, it's all about the numbers. So we'll talk about what I do know in a few minutes. But those are great questions, though, so far. Okay, the next question I had, because okay, because people were asking, are any of the locations going to reopen? And, are, and if they're going to reopen, will they reopen like in a church or in a school or, you know, somewhere that's um, less expensive? And Mindy says... Um, so, the, okay, so Mindy has an answer to that question. And Mindy, I'm actually going to try. Do you mind, Mindy, do you mind some of these answers that you're giving me if I have Jessica put these in the notes? Because I think these are going to be important for, I think these are going to be important for um, people who are not here for the chat, who, who did not get to see this live, or people who like to read this. So if you don't mind, I'm going to have Jessica include some of these answers. Um, but I've been asked, you know, if they're going to reopen as a church or something else. I don't know yet. I don't know the answer to that yet, but y'all know I will keep asking until I find out. Um, great question that I got that I do not know the answer to yet is what do new lifetime members without a location need to do? So if you are getting ready to be a new lifetime member, so if you're, so if you're, and yes, of course, media is to the best of your knowledge, but if you're a new lifetime member, what do you need to do? If you do not, have, if you no longer have a location, I don't know, but I'm going to try and find out. Um, I've been asked what I think about healthy Noom, eye track bots, any of these other you know programs, whatever. I've been asked what I think about them. I don't know. I've not used any of them. Um, and Mindy says contact 24/7 chat if you have questions. I think that's a great idea. I will say one thing. Something I do know: these poor people are being worn out. If you contact 24/7 chat or if you call the 800 number which I'll give you all in a few minutes, but if you do either 24-7 um, chat, chat or the 800 number, please be patient. Those were not the people. The people answering the phone and the people doing the chats are not the people who closed a location, okay? Okay? Please be gentle with them. Please be polite, okay? So 
Anyway, I don't know anything about the rest of those, um, but I'll try to look into them. Okay, and then the next question I got that I don't know the answer to yet is what is the distance to a location before you're excused or before you're waived um, from weighing in for lifetime benefits? Yes, Mary, be kind. So I do not know what that distance is. So again, I will try to keep abreast of this and I will try to find out you know, as many answers as I can. Okay, so we only have 15 minutes left. So let me quickly tell you what I do know. And again, I'm gonna be flipping back and forth because I got more, I got more um, information in between this and so I had to take some notes. Okay, so things that I do know. <sighs> I say this all the time, but WW Weight Watchers is a for-profit company. So as much as we all wish that we were in Gene Nottich's um, living room and that we were all holding hands and singing kumbaya you know and whatever Weight Watchers and their investors spend hundreds of thousands of dollars making sure that the most people have the most support and the most knowledge and that the shareholders who support Weight Watchers make money and keep investing in that future so I don't know um, I mean that's going to offend some people, but I am a for-profit business, and as much as I love to hold people's hands and pet their hair, you know, and I do love to be there, you know, for them when they, you know, they lose a loved one, when they're when a pet dies, um, I love to meet their families and everything else. I am also a for-profit business, so I need to sell things. I need to sell things in my showroom, you know, in order to keep my doors open and in order to feed my family and in order to be able to do this. So please just understand whether it irritates you or not. Weight Watchers is a for-profit business, okay? And they have shareholders, they have stocks, they have people they have to report to, and while they do want you to be successful, so please do not take that comment as Weight Watchers just being out for your money. They are not just out for your money, but if they're going to provide technology, if they're gonna provide things, you know, that we need, um, you know, if they're gonna provide, you know, keep going with these advances and things, they've got to be able to make money. So that is one thing that I know. Another thing I know is that 2023 saw the largest non-pandemic related closures of in-person in workshops in the history of Weight Watchers. Hands down, has to be. I mean, this year, more locations not outside of the pandemic, because the pandemic, like, everything closed, okay? But outside of the pandemic, pandemic, this is the single largest mass closure, you know, uh, thank you, Mary, of, um, of you know, Meet, of meeting places, of in-person workshops. Okay, I do know for a fact that not all in-person workshops are closing. So that was a big question. Is my workshop gonna close? And people were panicking. I do know for a fact that not all of them are closing. Okay, I don't know how to tell you whether or not yours is closing, but ours, like my location where I weigh in, we are a, um, we're a franchise owned um, Weight Watchers location so and ours is not ours operates independently so we are not closing so if you are anywhere near and I don't know how to find out where the franchise owned ones are but like um, one of the girls up in uh, we've got a girl from Jacksboro and another girl from La Follette which is about 35 40 minutes away and I know that's not a long drive I mean you just drove two and a half hours um, but their location did not reopen after the pandemic, and so they have been driving the 35, 40 minutes to come to our location. Um, but anyway, again, not all of them are closing. Um, yeah, so I know that for a fact. Okay, I also know for a fact, this is part of the same thing, but Weight Watchers franchise locations operate independently, and they do not fall under the same umbrella for requirements, um, um, for attendance, for expenses, you know, for anything like that. Okay, hold on. So, Mindy, I found it just told us a great way to find a studio or workshop go to the go to the um, connect groups there's a connect group called find a studio workshop okay you can go there and look okay um so um, Weight Watchers franchise locations do not they operate independently and they are not under the same umbrella as um, Weight Watchers International um, and they um, as such I know that our franchise location is still good to go. So right now we are still good to go. I mean, yes, Gwen, Sandra just reminded everybody, Gwen does still have her Thursday Zoom meeting. So we know that for a fact, she does. And we know for a fact that the more of you all that attend uh, my Gwen, the more of you all that attend her in-person Thursday, or in-person, her Thursday Zoom workshop, she gets credit for that. And if you are anywhere near us, anywhere near Knoxville, if you come to one of her in-person workshops, she gets uber credit for that, okay? Just remember to tell her that you know me. 
because that'll get you special street cred that's worth nothing, okay? Okay, so, okay, so I just interpreted that incorrectly, so please go look at Mindy's comment. Okay, um, da -da 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 -da, let's see. Um, okay, so the reason I know our franchise is still good to go is because when you are already on a, a shoestring budget, when you need to be on a shoestring budget, you nailed it. You, are, you already got it because you're already there, okay? So we are on a shoestring budget. They write our weight on little scraps of post-it notes. Um, we weigh on a physical scale. Um, we are in a church. I mean, you know, we're on a, we are literally on a shoestring budget. So, you know, so we're good to go. Okay, I do know that the weight loss drugs, I know this for a fact, the weight loss drugs offered by the newly acquired company Sequence, who, that they make um, Ozempic and um, Wegovy in particular. So those seem to be the two that were that came up the most, you know, when I was looking, um, looking for information on this. That will be only offered under physician care by prescription. So I know people who have been taking um, diabetic, diabetic drugs for non-diabetic reasons for weight loss. Um, that is not the situation. So Weight Watchers is not buying Sequence, who is the manufacturer of Ozempic and um, uh, we, we go be, I don't know if I'm saying that right, we go be, they are not buying that so that they can just start handing out pills at meetings, okay? That's not at all what that's for. Um, it will only be offered under a physician's care and by prescription. This is not a move to a magic pill scenario. That is not at all the intention. Um, and our friends with true diabetic issues may actually see some benefits um, from this, okay? Um, I've also been asked if that means that it will be hard to get Ozempic and Wegovy. Um, that is not because of a Weight Watchers plan. Um, that's not because of a Weight Watchers plan. That is these other non, uh, non physicians or non, um, how do I want to say this, like through other um, means, uh, I don't know what to say. I think that's what's causing the shortage. And Deanna says to check with your insurance. Hers does not cover it. It's a $1,400 a month. So I have a friend who is not diabetic. She is getting one of those two outside of her physician's um, care. Uh, I disagree with it. And um, she is paying in excess of $1,400 a month. So I'm just saying that has nothing to do with Weight Watchers purchase, purchasing it, okay? Non-qualifying, yeah, that's a great um, statement. Okay, um, but our friends with, uh, qu with qualifying diabetic um, issues may see some benefits um, from this, from this move, okay? Next, um, there are some deals to be had. Again, please be kind. Please do not just call and scream at these people. They, they, the people on the phone and the people at 24-7 did not create this, okay? So please be kind of them so you can go on 24-7 chat or you can call 800-651-6000, 800-651-6000, um, and just say, look, I'm confused, my meeting's gone, I'm having to switch to online only, or I've been online only, and this is just, well, you know, jacked up, whatever. Um, you know, how, oh, golly, hold on. Debbie found the franchise locations. We'll check that out. Debbie, thank you very much. I will post that. I'll have Jessica post that in the notes. So if you are not here with us on the live chat, I will have Jessica post it in the notes over on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com where you can go and find the franchise locations in case there is one close enough to you to drive to because it sounds like they are a-okay. Um, but, 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 uh, anyway, go to 24-7 live or 800-651-6000. And again, kindly just tell them you're thinking about dropping out. If you are, don't just make it up to try and get a deal. But there are some deals to be had. I do know that for a fact. Um, I do know for a fact that the U.S. is the only country, I'm pretty, or maybe it's North America, I don't know if it's the U.S. or North America, but the, where, we, where we are, where most of us are that are in this chat right now, we're the only place in the world that does not char, has not been charging um, lifetime members. I fully expect, I do not know this for a fact, but I fully expect lifetime members to have to start paying a monthly fee instead of being completely free. My gut just tells me it's coming to that because I never understood how they could do that anyway. I'm still occupying the same space. I'm still taking up the same amount of time. I still get all the same materials. I don't see how they can do it for free, okay? So my gut tells me that that is coming for us. Um, let's see, what else do I know? I also know um, I also know that lifetime members in good standing in February 2023 
Um, if you were at an in-person workshop, you should be free until weigh in February 2024 if you are in good standing. Um, it's similar to what happened during COVID. Um, we, when we went um, into COVID, they, um, after that first month or two, all lifetime members that were in good standing got a free time period. It looks to be about a year um, this time. Um, and your free year will not be revoked if you go over your weight. So I do know that um, for sure. Okay, so quickly, those statistics because we only have just a few minutes left. So I need to know, statistic people, where are you? How many people had just lost a live workshop? How many people were there for that? So how many people were the, I just lost my in-person workshop? And the two of you don't have to exactly disagree if we can just get, you know, a rough number. Okay, Christy says it was seven. Okay, and then what was the number of, how many of you never had a workshop? And these were people that were here with us live tonight. I did a little survey over on If You Have an Egg also. Oh, seven. Okay, so they agreed. Awesome. So Susie's husband and Christy both agreed. Y'all should y'all should um, talk to each other. You should become a statistic, statistician team. Okay, so how many people never had a workshop? And again, I did a survey also over on, um, I did a, a survey also over on If You Have an Egg, and we'll, I'll go check that out here in just a few minutes. Okay, so that looks like that's about four people. And then how many people have done, have done, or are doing something other than or in common? Wow, you are on it, four. That's fantastic, I can't believe you agree. Okay, so how many of you have done and or are doing something other than, um, or uh, other than and in, co or in combination with Weight Watchers? I just butchered that one. So how many people on that one? It's probably all of us. It's probably all of us that are here today. Okay, and then last is how many people are were diabetic or pre-diabetic? So it's taking on just a minute on that one. Wow, 22. I started to say it should be just about all of us have done or are doing something else or in combination with Weight Watchers. Okay, so 22 of those. And then how many people were pre-diabetic or diabetic or pre-diabetic? Okay, and I'm going to keep talking. Nine. Okay, so the point that I'm trying to make from that is, um, this is another thing that I do know. I do know that um, Weight Watchers is, is still, was and is still the best weight loss program for support, for education, for teaching people how to live with this lifestyle. Um, so just like you would not deny somebody who... Um, who had gastric bypass the opportunity to learn how to live successfully after their surgery? We wouldn't deny um, we wouldn't deny education to somebody um, on education and how to how to make this into a lifestyle. We wouldn't deny that to somebody doing keto. Um, we wouldn't deny benefits to somebody who decided to get their support through telehealth um, or any other programs that relate to creating a healthy life, a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. So people who have just lost a meeting or who never had a meeting. Weight Watchers is still the best weight loss program for support, education, and teaching people how to live with this lifestyle, okay? Um, so I know that for a fact. Um, the people who have um, diabetes, um, the, we, uh, the purchasing of um, sequence and using Ozim you know, Ozempic and, we and Wegovy, that could be key. To some people there will be some people who are living with diabetes or who are diabetic that just that's the same thing who are living with diabetes or who are pre-diabetic this could be a game changer for them okay so those of us who are blessed to not be diabetic I know my mother would have given anything anything to give her just just a little something you know just to kind of kick it in it was so hard for her and she tracked Everything. I mean, she tracked every single thing that she ate, but it was still that just having diabetes, even though she got it, you know, manageable, got it under control, um, still had to take some medication, just being able to have that little something prescribed by her physician, if she qualified for it, would have helped 
so much. So I'm, I'm actually happy for our diabetic and pre-diabetic friends um, who are going to have this opportunity to do this. And the last thing that I do know for a fact, and John and Dusty are coming back in, the last things I know for a fact is that whether you had a, had an in-person workshop, never had an in-person workshop, if you've had gastric, gastric bypass, if you've tried keto, if you've done any of these things, or Weight Watchers, or all of the above, I do know that Weight Watchers is the best. You need accountability. Um, you're still going to need to weigh in. You're still going to need to check in, whether you have to drive in, send it to somebody, text it to somebody, whatever. You need accountability. Um, Weight Watchers is the best for tracking. Um, you are only going to be able to keep up with this no matter what program you're doing by keeping track of what you're eating, how much, when, whatever. Um, three, you need a tribe of like-minded people. That's the only way this is going to work. Four, picking something that's got continuing education, and I believe Weight Watchers um, has that, and a bag of chips, a bag of low-fat chips, baked chips maybe. Um, and number five, you have to be able to find something, do something that um, can teach you how to make this an actual sustainable lifestyle. So no matter whether you had a meeting, didn't have a meeting, you know, if you've tried something else or trying something else, this is what I truly believe. So. I will try to get the answers to some of those awesome and amazing questions um, for you all for next time, or I'll try to answer them throughout the week. I do have two videos coming. One is to find out how to put yourself into intentional maintenance. The other one is to find out that amazing Discover tab that Deanna found again. So if you are new or if you are back with us, or if this is your new meeting because you've lost your in-person one, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, these are live every Sunday night at 8 o'clock Eastern time or you can watch these later on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, please let that next video go ahead and roll over and don't forget to subscribe, 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 and click that little bell. Um, and we will keep the great content, education, and support of our tribe coming to you all. So have a great week and I'll see you next time. Good night.